Hello everyone, this is Elena and Alex. Today we are going to Otago Food Festival that takes place in Pearland, Texas, October 7th and 8th. It took place in an outdoor shopping mall and this mall had a giant parking lot. That's why parking was not a problem. We are at the, uh, we're in Pearland. We're gonna head and check out the Otaku Festival. Food Festival. Otaku Food Festival. How's your expectation? <laughs> I don't have high expectations with anything here in the US. <laughs> but we'll see how it is. It might be okay. I expect expensive food and expensive activities. And long lines. And long lines and tons of people. The festival this time takes place in Pearland Town Center. We got there around noon and it was already busy. In the area under the roof, you can find many vendors with cool anime-related merchandise, unique handmade stuff, and some awesome drawings. You can find mass-produced imported items and some locally made things here. List of events and schedule you can find in Otaku Food Festival Facebook group. Barely open, it's already so crowded. <laughs> There's supposed to be some events, I think, like cosplayers, small days. Yeah. Let's try to find some. Yeah. They're all really good. Yeah. Yeah. We were able to see sumo performance by Shoheki Sumo, an independent organization that seeks to educate public on what sumo wrestling is all about and break certain stereotypes of sumo that Western media may propagate. You can join the organization, support them, and enjoy a show here. Like I said, slowly, with this uh, Street Fighter, you know, we're not E-Honda just stomping on the ground. That's why we don't do that, it's because that's more for ceremony in Japan. They don't normally do that in the people. At 1.30 p.m. there was also an aerialist act and it was impressive and beautiful performance.
Speaking about food, there were about a dozen different vendors, which is not much, and the lines for the most stands were really long. I was lucky to get a moment when the line cleared at one's Thai kitchen and uh, got two barbecue skewers and mango sticky rice. And they all were really good. Really good. It's juicy, it's not dry. It has a really good flavor to it. And they coated it with some sort of like a, a seasoning, like a sauce, more of like a teriyaki. It's really good. I approve. Now let me try the beef. Beef? It's actually, it's pretty big piece to be honest. Not like tiny pieces. has the same flavor as the chicken one almost. I'm not sure what cut of meat it is. I wouldn't say it's like the high quality cut of meat. It's pretty good though, but I like the chicken one actually better. You can also get the chicken or the beef, doesn't matter. Yeah. Two skewers for, two, so for five dollars, not bad. Street food festival, and this is street food from the Houston, Texas, Pearl and Otaku food festival. And this is fried rice, seven dollars. I mean, sticky rice. Sticky rice. Sticky mango rice, seven dollars. This is one of the things that you don't need to wait. You just go and grab it and buy it, seven dollars. Okay. Not bad. I, I expected it's gonna be worse. It also has the crispy little skin on the top. I mean, we just got back from Thailand, so we'll see how it is compared. Uh, That's at the coconut or milk, milk. Yeah. Go ahead and pour it on there. Pour this on top of the rice. Put it right here for now. This is actually extra sticky. It's kind of your style, right? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's almost the same like in Thailand. Just rice for me, you know, like a little bit overcooked. I like kind of like in Thailand style, but it's okay. good. Okay, how's the mango? Good? How's that sticky stuff? I mean the crispy stuff. It's good, sweet, crispy stuff. That's, that, they didn't have that on the Thailand stuff. There are way more stuff to see in Otaku Food Festival. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.